Oh, Bishop Wooden here. Glad to see you today. I want to tell you something. My God, and for those of you who are born again, I'm talking about your God also, the God of the Bible. Isn't it a wonderful thought? My God is real, for I can feel him in my soul. He's real, and there is a grace that the God of the Bible has given to the believers, that, that God has given to pastors and shepherds who are connected with him that that same grace that the Lord has placed on the leader God has placed that grace on those people who stand by that man of God you know people have said to me pastor wouldn't why is it that you say the things that you say or you make the stands that you make and among the reasons that I give among the reasons is that I have a powerful, loving congregation who stands with me. I have a church board who prays for me and stand with me. I have mothers in the church who are calling my name. I get texts from several members who say, Pastor, I was talking to God about you today, and the Lord said this, and the Lord said that. And you know, there are people out there who are saying, Pastor Wooden, we are lifting you in prayer. We're standing with you as you stand on God's truth. Well, the Lord has been good to me. The Lord has favored me. But I'm here to say that the same grace that God has placed on me, God has also made those who are praying for the man of God partakers of the same grace because we are divine partners. We're in a divine partnership. I'm going to talk about it tonight and it's going to bless you real good. I want you to come out and to be here on time. You know, school has started back and the kids are back in class and that kind of a thing. And we certainly will uh, uh, make sure that we're timely and time conscious and, and do what we need to do to get you on out and where you can get home and get you a good night's rest. But I want you to come tonight and hear the teaching. It will bless you real good. <laughs> God bless you. I'll see you tonight.